Damn, out of vape stank again. You know, I could really go for some straw parry from Olympia Vaporworks. Behold, mortal, welcome to Mount Olympus. Uh, yeah. So, do you have any straw parry? Maybe in a 70 VG? Three nicotine? Something like that? Mortal, we have strawberries, pears, bananas, goat food. We have everything your heart desires, even mana, which I lounge about in. I spilt some mana. Yeah, so... Where are we on the straw parry again? You guys got some? I think he means straw parry e-juice from Olympia Vaporworks, dear. Oopsie, you've spilled some mana. Hmm. Hold on, let me ask Siri. Siri, where is Olympia Vaporworks? Olympia Vaporworks is in Olympia, Washington, in Washington State, in the United States of America. It's over that way, dude. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Filming through the sky. So what is up, fellas? Ladies. Here I am, back again, today with an e-juice review from Olympia Vaporworks. And to start out, I wanted to explain how I found out about Olympia Vaporworks. I had no idea they existed, never heard of them. Um, but I received a comment in my comment section a couple weeks back, and the commenter suggested this place for review. And that's how it works. Sometimes you put a comment in the comment section, and you're like, hey, review this. And I'm like, hey, all right. And I'm glad I did because to be honest with you, I was gonna do this review a couple of weeks ago um, and I bought a four 15 mil bundle of juice from this place and I, I vaped it all. It was all gone. I had to put in another order and get three more flavors because I couldn't wait and I vaped it all. So, yay willpower. So I'm actually kind of glad it got pushed back because for one thing I got three more flavors. Um, and secondly, I was able to contact Brian, the CEO and mastermind of Olympia Vaporworks, because I, I wanted to know where he was from, first of all. On the website, which I will link in the description below, uh, he didn't have any information like, you know, where he was, where he was from, anything like that. So I uh, found out he was from Olympia, Washington, which I also found out was the capital of Washington, because I should have paid attention in school. Also found out that he doesn't add any extra sweetener or food coloring or any of that crap in his juice. So he says his coils last like 10 times longer, actually that his cotton will disintegrate before it gets gunked up. So uh, that's nice. And probably the favorite tidbit that I found out was, uh, well, let me tell you, when I ordered the first time, I noticed I didn't pay any tax and I didn't pay any shipping. So I was like, did I just get lucky and not pay any shipping or is this something you offer all the time? He's like, I guess we offer free shipping the continental US all the time. So if you're like me, that's a pretty big deal. And it's not bull crap shipping either because my last order came in three days and I looked at it and it was priority two day shipping. It's 575. That's, I got that free. I, I don't know how he makes any money. But moving right along, just to give you an overview of what Olympia Vaporworks offers. So far they have two juice lines, the Signature line and the Dr. Neptune's line. Uh, I believe they both have nine flavors in them right now. The signature line, which is the one I'm trying to run my way through, you know, as I, as I get money, um, is a blend of two different flavors. Banana mango. Uh, I'm actually trying to get them to make a strawberry peach. So keep your fingers crossed. Now the Dr. Neptune line has three to four different flavors. Again, mostly fruits, but with a couple of custards thrown in as well, so that's good. So as far as nicotine strengths, he goes from zero nicotine up to 28, which is super high. So you can find something you like in there. And as far as VG-PG ratio, he'll go from 10 VG up to 70 VG and 10 VG increments. And then he has the Cloud Chaser line, which is the, his max VG, which is different depending on the flavor. Uh, like one will be 83, one will be 85. It just depends on the flavor and how that mixes. So that's it on the boring stuff. Uh, I did, before we actually got into the taste test, I wanted to talk about how he offers a lot of different bundles and deals. Like the first time I ordered, I got four 15 mil bottles and it was a cheaper price than buying, you know, four individual 15 mil bottles. Uh, obviously, I vaped all those, like I said earlier. So this time when I ordered, I got a bundle of three 30 mil bottles. And 
I ended up paying with the bundle price and a 15% coupon I had from signing up for the newsletter, like a lot of places do. I ended up paying $23 for 90 mils of juice. That's dirt cheap ghetto juice price. Uh, and let me tell you, when I, when I got my first order, I was really expecting a bargain, you know, a bargain like house juice type of experience. Uh, and I'm not bagging on bargain juice or house juice. Uh, you usually get what you pay for. A lot of people will tell you, uh, you know, premium juice is, ha is bargain juice with a new label on it and it's the same crap. And it, from my experience, no, it's not. Premium juice is premium juice because it's better. It's made, I guess, with better ingredients. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's magic. Maybe there's gold in it. I don't know, but it tastes better. It does. And you know, in general, that's generality, but that's, that's my experience. So when I pay dirt cheap prices, I wasn't expecting much and I was super pleasantly surprised. This isn't, this isn't bark and juice. Again, I don't know how he makes money. I really don't. And again, I don't get paid by Olympia Vaporworks. I don't, I don't get free juice. Um, but I give credit where credit is due, man. This, this is a great, great juice line and it is shockingly inexpensive. So I'm not going to go through all of his prices because he has a, a lot of different ones and they, you know, they go up and down. He has sales and there's so many different bundles and so many ways to save money that, you know, I, I, I don't have time for that. I'm a busy, important man. I got, I got Call of Duty to play. So let's get into the good stuff, shall we? Uh, but I will explain how I'm going to do this today. I'm going to use again my Aspire Nautilus on my iStick 50 watt at 15 watts, uh, reading 1.82 ohms. And the reason why is because I bought another 510 Bridgeless Dripping Atomizer because I found out that I blew up the other one because I'm dumb. Apparently you can't dry burn those things because it's not meant to withstand that and they die. I was, I was pissed off at first because I'm like, this thing lasted like a week and it was my own fault. So if you ever use those, know that you're not supposed to dry burn them. Who knew? Uh, and then I bought another one. I bought a different one from a different company. Got it in, was really excited to use it, and then I lost it. I, I don't know where it is. It's hanging out with my socks, I guess, and my editing software that I lost. I don't, I don't know how I lose stuff. My apartment's like a cracker box. But stuff disappears. I think it's the cats. But anyway, I got plenty of coil on my Nautilus, so we're gonna use that today, which is good because that's what I usually vape it anyway. Okay, starting off, everything I got today is 10 milligrams. Uh, everything I got today is 70 VG, 30 PG. So the first one I'm going to be trying today is called Straw Perry. I believe I mentioned in the intro. It is a mix of strawberry and pear, and it has a pear that looks like strawberry. That's pretty bitchin'. This is Olympia Vaporworks. Uh, has your nicotine level here. I removed it to protect the innocent. Um, that's one thing about these bottles. I love the bottle art because it's real simple. Uh, it actually shows you what the flavor is if you can't guess from the name. It does have plastic around the dropper cap, but as you can see or hear, it does not have a childproof cap. Okay. Nor are there any warnings whatsoever on this bottle. So I wish those two things are present, but they are nice labels. Um, 30 mil glass bottles with a dropper cap. So I have some straw perry in my Aspire Nautilus. So uh, see how it tastes. That is fantastic. It tastes like strawberry and pear. It tastes like a strawberry. Um, man, that is really good. And the thing is, I was really expecting it to be meh, you know, good, not great. But it came so highly recommended, I wanted to try and it's, it's so good. You know, even out of this Nautilus, it has really nice vapor production and it tastes like strawberry and pear. It tastes like a slightly, slightly candied strawberry and a pear. Holy crap, that's just really good. Let's let's move on to the next flavor. Um, so the next one we'll try is Pango. Uh, I have no excuse. So the next one we'll try is Pango. 
not Rango, that crappy cartoon weasel, but Pango, the peach mango. Uh, excited about this one because I really love peach vapes. I don't think there are enough out there. That's why I really would like Olympia Vaporworks to come up with a strawberry peach. Okay, so now through the use of movie magic, I've spared you from my tank cleaning and juice changing and coil replacement, and I now have a fresh coil full of Pango. So let's see how this one tastes. Oh, well that, that's just heavenly. Man, that is so good. That's, it's peach mango. That's what it is. Um, I don't know if Olympia Vaporworks like scientifically figures out what are the best, is there a flavor wheel to show you the best combinations, but that fits together so well. That is fantastic. That tastes like peach and mango. So that's two for two today. That is another fantastic combination. All right, let's move to the third one. I hope uh, I hope we go three for three. Third one is a blue bonnet tonic. This is a strawberry blueberry. You can see that strawberry. It's masquerading as a blueberry. And I don't think I've ever had a blueberry strawberry. I've had a few blueberry raspberries. So uh, yeah. Let's see what this bad boy tastes like. They see me cleaning my Nautilus. About to vape blue bonic tonic, gonna vape blue bonic tonic. All right, so blue bonic tonic, magically here. Let's give it a vape, see how she tastes. It's a blueberry and strawberry. And so good. Um, it seems to be a little heavier on the blueberry, maybe because it's a double blueberry. But man, that is, that is really good. So yeah, that's it. Three for three. Three super, super yummy juices from Olympia Vaporworks. Uh, and if you want to add that to the four that I vaped so fast that I couldn't get a review up, that's seven for seven. But when does that ever happen? So thank you, Barry, so much for giving me this suggestion. I found my new vapor shop that isn't going to bankrupt me. So yeah, if you like what I'm doing, throw me a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any products that you'd like me to check out, any super delicious vape juice you'd like me to try out, Throw that in the comments section. We'll rectify that situation. And as always, I'd like to remind you guys to mom that bitch to the wheels fall off. And I'm out!